What's up my wonderful peeps? It's your boy Sports the Bone here again man. Keeping you informed as per usual. Shout out to all the viewers and subscribers. Yeah man. Yeah man, blessings my people. Sports of the Bone here again, you know. Yeah man, just a quick update on top of some cricket. So news coming in out of New Zealand is that um, West Indies have reportedly named spinner and mid-ladder batsman Rastan Chase as the vice captain for the New Zealand series. Now Chase is um, actually replacing uh, Shea Hope who was the vice captain and we all know that Shea Hope isn't on tour this moment because he, he was left out um, due to a poor run of farm so Rastan Chase will be taking up the mantle for this um, tour of New Zealand Alright, even before I go any further in this video personally I think it's a good idea to name Rastan Chase as the vice captain you know, I don't know the man personally, but just watching him playing the game, how he applies himself, he seems, seems to be a very professional person, somebody that is very level-headed and commands the respect of his peers. So, um, I mean, when you're talking about captaincy or vice-captaincy, you need somebody that is a mainstay in the team. And when you look at it right now, Rastan Chase is a mainstay in this test team. He's our frontline spinner and he also plays a crucial role in the um in the middle order there as regards to batting so having rastan chase as the vice captain to support jason hola might be a good idea um right now because you know there isn't much much options and as i said you need somebody that is actually a mainstay in the team somebody that is um level-headed and dedicated to that particular format of the game and we see that rastan chase looks to be a very good um test test player and you know as i said earlier seems to be somebody that is very level-headed and the 28 year old um he would have he's actually 28 year old you know he he has some amount of experience now playing at the highest level and um fans may, may, might recall that he was actually the captain of the west indies a team at one point in time and a couple of tours so he he has um he has some amount of experience as he regards to leading at the at the close to the highest level you know um so having him there to support jason hola is actually a good idea because right now if you're looking at the team as as i said er, in an earlier video probably the, the lineup is going to look something like this maybe john campbell and craig bratwit opening darren bravo at three um hit my r blackwood at four um chase at five um dorich keeper at six Jason Old at 7 and then we will have the bowlers coming in. So if you're looking there, I think out of out of that lot, Rastan Chase probably is the best person there to, to assist Jason Holder in that position. So we just have to wish them the best and we know that it might not be a um a, a permanent position, but uh just to be there in this tour would be a good um test for him. It's basically a trial and error situation because you know before you put somebody in that um, spot you have to make sure that they are capable and I mean Jason Hola is a very good leader but at any point in time you might be on tour and Jason Hola pick up an injury or have to come off the field or you know feel ill and then the vice captain will have to step up and lead the team so you want to put it you want to do it in a trial and error um start away just to make sure that the person is up to the task but as i said earlier personally i think rest and chase is a will be a good fit because where west indies test cricket is concerned we don't see a lot of people that are basically sticking their finger up and say hear what i am committed i am able and i am capable and i will be performing at a consistent basis now if you are tuned into west indies cricket over the past Three, um, two to three years you would notice that Rastan Chase is basically a mainstay in the test team so um, once again it's a good idea to have him there and we are just hoping that everything will go um, good for him right now persons might look at it and say it is added pressure on Rastan Chase right now but um, at the end of the day the team really needs him the team needs somebody that is solid to help out J Jason Holder 
I mean, he's actually the person that is uh, leading the spinning attack there. So he's our frontline spinner. And usually after bowling for a day or two in the sun, he's usually expected to go and hold the middle order together after the top order fail. But this is a good way to put his character and his and, and his um his expertise to the test. So one have to just hope and wish the, wish him wish him the best, you know. Because at the end of the day, we all want to see West Indies cricket um succeed. So. Yeah man, we just have to hope Sarah Stan Chase can manage the pressure. Cause I want to tell you, you know, being the captain or, or the vice captain for West Indies cricket team is not the easiest of things. Cause you're not only dealing dealing with people being inconsistent on the field. Majority of the time you have to be dealing with some political um, issues that are going on within the WICB. So we just have to hope say this not to burden the man and him can perform at a high level as per usual. Yeah man, and usually Chase is a, is a reliable man, somebody that is um, expected to do a lot of the work for the West Indies. So giving him um, a position, I don't see how much it's going to actually affect him, you know. So we just have to hope that he will remain um, remain a cool and calm, level-headed person that he is and will be able to, to, to actually um, perform at the highest level for us. Yeah man, and I want to tell us so right now, him work probably start right now before the series even start because I was actually what listening some sports news last night and we heard where the New Zealand um, health authorities are having problem or concerns that some West Indies players probably would have broken um, the, 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 the requirements or the rules of quarantine because you know say in you know, this um, whole COVID thing you have to quarantine for 14 days and, and thing and thing so based on the reports that is coming out of New Zealand it's a possibility that some players would have gone against um, certain rules and, and regulation that were laid down by the by the, the, the health authorities over there in New Zealand so one, one will think that Jason Holder um, will be expecting uh, Rust and Chase to really help him as regards to man management you know because right now I want to listen to the hardest thing to do is, you know, is to actually lead people. So, uh, Rust and Chase will, will have his hands full uh, along with Jason Hola. So, I guess he will start there trying to get everybody together, um, trying to fulfill the requirements of staying within the bubble and making sure that you're not breaking um, the rules uh, and, and all of that. So, yeah, man, that is, that is actually it for this video. You know, so shout out to West Indies Cricket, shout out to Rastan Chase for picking up the, the vice captain um, position. Hopefully he will be able to, to perform well in New Zealand and, and, and you know, he will get the, the position on a permanent basis right now. Rastan Chase is a mainstay in the team and we, we just hope that the man can grow from strength to strength, you know. Yeah man, sports to the bone. I'm out. Big up on yourself. Blessed.